the taste of a Chipotle burrito may never be the same, or maybe it will if the company decides to be less aggressive with food safety measures. Last month, Chipotle said it was conducting high-resolution DNA-based testing on many ingredients. Now the company is considering dialing back or eliminating pathogen testing on some ingredients, people familiar with the company say. Faced with the challenge of making the food safe without sacrificing the signature freshness that's made Chipotle successful over the years. A Chipotle spokesman declined to comment. Chipotle is now having its beef cooked before it arrives at some restaurants in vacuum sealed bags where it is then marinated and heated on a grill before being served, we are told. Pre-cooking beef could help ensure that E. coli is killed if such contamination occurs again, but the use of fresh ingredients has been seen as a competitive advantage for Chipotle. The company, which had prided itself on making items from scratch, now risks turning off some customers, experts say. Bob Golden, vice chairman of restaurant consulting firm Technomic, says Chipotle has created an image of fresh, natural, cooked-on-premise food that's pretty well cemented in consumers' minds. Quote, if people taste a difference, that will be a problem, he says. On the other hand, Chipotle has a lot riding on the prevention of future outbreaks. The company warned Tuesday that it would book its first quarterly loss as a public company and said sales at existing restaurants dropped 26.1% last month deeper than the 23% decline analysts were expecting. Chipotle shares have been hit hard since closing at nearly an all-time high of $750.42 on October 13th of last year. Since the company's fourth quarter earnings release in early February, there's been some recovery. Still, Chipotle said Tuesday that sales have, quote, started to recover, unquote, noting that weekly restaurant sales fell 21.5% during the first week of March. But for the first quarter, Chipotle said it expects to report a loss of a dollar a share compared with the year earlier profit of $3.88 a share.